Good evening, guys. Welcome back. So, um, the plan was for this video to do the whole, um, you know, gameplay video type of thing. Um, unfortunately, what happened is when I was doing the recording, I was trying a different um way to decrease my um file size, and the format I was using was causing a few issues. Um, the issue was basically it blurred out. It made the game go the video go blurry. It, pixelated and all that kind of shit so i couldn't use that video so um i'll have to do it the old-fashioned way this way so um i was talking about the um xbox partner with preview which i actually have it running on the computer right now so i know exactly what i'm talking about because me being me you you know you'll watch it and then i'll come back and say okay i better do this video talk about this stuff um uh, what were the games again oh that's right i don't remember my memory's terrible, but it's weird as how it works like that. But there are some good games, guys. I mean, not all of them are great. Um, for me personally, now I will explain it to me, guys. There was nothing here super special. Not nothing bad as such. I mean, I don't think any of them are going to be really bad. But most of them are just um, some horror games, a few RPGs, and a few um action. I think RPGs as well. So there was something like that. Um, there was also an anime one in here too, surprisingly. Probably one of the few anime games I'll probably get to, because the only anime game I've ever bought, actually no, two. The two of them. One is Dragon Ball, or Dragon Ball C or Dragon Ball, what do you want to call the Dragon Ball seri series? And the other one is, um, what is it called? I forgot the name of the show, guys. I haven't watched it for a while, so my memory's a bit, um, a bit cloudy. Um, something sort of online or whatever it's called. I don't remember the name of it at the top of my head. Um, then the games weren't too bad. I mean, they weren't great, but they weren't bad. Um, so Dragon Ball, for example, or Dragon Ball Kakarot in this case, was pretty good. Um, I'm debating if I'm going to get the new Dragon Ball one, because I've been hearing really good things about it, so it's really hard not to get it. I mean, I don't usually get fighting games, but this one seems to be really worth it, and it seems to have a bit of a, um, a bit more possession. It's just not some random fighting game like Street Fighter or others like that. So that's something um, interesting to talk about in the future, guys. I don't really want to talk about it now. Now, we're here to talk about the games, guys. Now, there were a few here I wasn't too interested. Um, there was... The worst thing, guys, was this. When we when they were talking about it, all the games I'm not interested in at Game Pass, every single one of them. So you got like the uh, Fire Break Game Pass, um, Real World Game Pass, Eternal Strides Game Pass, have nothing at two Game Pass. That's actually not too bad. I'm, I could probably get that one. Also, another one I could get, guys, is the, this one here. I forgot. I can't pronounce its name. But it's one of those um, Japanese ones. Um, Wunheng. 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 Sorry, guys. Forgive me. I'm butchering the Asian name. Um, Wunheng. Fallen Feathers. That's not too bad there. But out of all, what? There's five of them. And only two of them I would even remotely consider. I think internal shards is not too bad, but... That's a big maybe in the future. But yeah, those sort of games for Game Pass, there was only like five of them, it wasn't two. Um, some of them were better than others, obviously. For example, guys, um, if I can get back to it. I've got a terrible tendency of... Why well, I've got two files, the same files open? This is what happens when you don't do it properly. So, um, Real World, for example, guys, it's not really something I'm excited about. It's more of a bike riding, racing type of game. It's not really anything I'm interested in. Um, Fire Break is another one of those games I don't really care about. I believe it's some like a shooting game. I can't remember the top of my head. But the other three are relatively good, so I won't talk about them that much. We'll probably talk about them as they get closer to release. Now, we've got a whole group of games they did talk about, so I'm going to go through their names, um, and then we'll go back to them. So, for example, A and... Alan Wake 2, The Lake House, um, not for me. Alan Krieger, The New Dawn, Blindfold, 
um, Blind Fire, like a Dragon Pirate accident in Hawaii. Forgive me if I got that wrong. So that one is, is an interesting one. Um, Mouse PI for Hire, that's an interesting one. Subnavia 2, which I already talked about. Animal Well, I don't know, I'm interested in all. Eden Zero, so that was the one I was talking about that was anime I'm interested in. Internal Strikes, that's another one. Um, Miss Ball Hunter. I don't remember that one on top of my head. Um, Real World, obviously I told you that. I'm not interested. There's another one here I cannot pronounce the point for the life of me, guys. So I will try it. Uh, I think it's called Miss Morph. I don't know, Miss Morph. I can't pronounce the name word, guys. It's such a friggin' normal word. Um, the Legend of Bag Bagboo. Bagboo, okay. Um, Wooden Chain, Fallen Feathers, and Fire Break. I don't want anything here, super for me, guys. Let's see. Let's talk. Games I like playing, guys. A lot of games I actually like playing. So, uh, TS games. Racing games. Strategy games. City building games. A lot of indie games. Things like that. Um, Some survival games. What is it? Things like that, guys. Um, there were, I do like playing RPGs. I've been playing a lot recently, so I don't really care about them at the moment. That's mostly what's on here. But most of them some have uh, uh, JRPGs like Eden Zero. Um, there's also a few of them that are a bit more horror related. Uh, I think like a Alan Wake 2, The Lake House, for example. There are some interesting ones like Sabnapia 2. Um, Mouse PI for Hire. That was an interesting one. It's a shooter game, but it's designed in a like 50s, like pop it at um, at style. So it's kind of interesting. I, it looks pretty good for me. I mean, I'll probably get it at some point. Uh, like the Leg uh, Legend of Bamboo looks really good, guys. That's actually good. Um, Ian Ciro looks pretty damn good. Uh, other than that, I really don't have a lot there. I'm so interested. It's just not. There's nothing here for me to talk about, guys, because none of these games I care about. I mean, there's nothing here saying, oh, I've got to, you got to buy this. No, none of them. The only one that I'm actually really pretty much guaranteed to buy is Like a Dragon, that pirate one. That one looks interesting because it's basically the same as like the normal like, um, like a Dragon, but for pirates. That looks pretty damn good. Other than that, there's nothing here that screams my name, guys. Say, okay, I've got to grab this. Well, most of the games here are in the okay series. I mean, they're not great. You know? It's not that because they're bad in general. It's just because they're not for me. I don't think they're going to be bad. Um, so maybe, maybe Real World might be a bit because it's a bit cartoonish. More cartoonish, you know, I'm used to games like um the wind, you know, Sail of the Wind Waker and things like that. Um, but yeah, that's all I really want to talk about, guys. I, so, I'm going to talk, if it's, the rating I'll probably give it, I'll probably give it about five, five and a half. As I said, guys, it wasn't the, wasn't the greatest for me because the games I like weren't really there. I mean, but as a, um, showcase, it wasn't that bad. I mean, remember, it goes for 25 minutes, so it was pretty damn quick. But yeah, I enjoyed it, guys. I think it was, like I said, five, five and a half should be more than a fair enough, um, accounts out of ten, so... As I said, it probably got higher if I had game more games that I'm interested in. You know, I was hoping something maybe like the Indiana Jones, maybe a new Forza Horizon, you know, that type of stuff. Um, but yeah, all those type of games, guys. Um, but yeah, I think that's it, guys. As I said, I gave it about five, five and a half. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, let me know, guys, in the comments, what games are you interested in from the um Xbox preview? Sorry, Xbox Partner Preview. But yeah, let me know down in the comments, guys. Cheers.